Age, are you nearly shot? I mean, you're shooting 70 percent. I won't think. Can you just talk about the matchup and what you just faced? Um, so you played a great game. Yeah. Uh, taking what the defense gives me is going to always be uh, what I do, how I operate, and uh, it's. I love it because it changes every game, changes every possession sometimes. So, yeah, I was just taking what the defense was giving me. Um, and, and sometimes they were giving me the drive. Sometimes they were giving me the right. Sometimes they were giving me the jumper. Um, all of that. So, and I, and I have to credit my teammates because they got me the basketball in the right places at the right time. And they just started the fall, uh, unlike Chicago. If I could ask a follow-up question, what do you feel like YouTube could change in the last possession to obviously change the outcome of this game? No. But honestly, it didn't come down to that. So, I mean, we got to look at, we got Asia shooting the basketball at the three point line. I'm confident in that. So, but I mean, we go down the stretch in our fourth quarter just killed us. Um, how they scored 32 points in that fourth quarter. So, um, it don't, it's, it don't even go to that last possession for real. Asia, after the uh, tough game against Chicago, uh, where you managed 20 points and 18 rebounds, you know, I know that you talked about, um, you know, the challenge night, 8 of 28. Um, shoot night, uh, but you came back with an incredible 42 points tonight. Um, mm, how do you mentally incredible. and physically prepare for such a turnaround like that? Like, you flip that switch. I mean, I'm yeah. professional and everything, but I just want you know, to get your take on that. Yeah, I mean, it's all a part of the game. Uh, I wish I could shoot perfect every game. Uh, I wish I could shoot above 50% every single game, but that's not always the case. And I try to find myself, I give myself 24 hours to not just linger in it and feel sorry for myself, uh, but um, yeah, I just kind of take, like I said, take what the defense gives me, see what the next day looks like, see what how they're guarding me, and kind of go from there. But I don't, I'm the type of person where I don't let a lot of things linger uh, because that's you, it takes you out of the moment. And so I try to give everything its own space. So that was Chicago, cool, did that, awful, bricked it, cool. And I kind of fold into this game uh, with the same mindset I went into the Chicago game, like just doing what the defense gives me. And if they fall, they fall. But if they don't, I'm going to try to still – be productive for my team. And so today it was this, but we didn't get the win, so none of that matters. And so that's a follow-up question for Chelsea. Uh, you missed the last game that y'all were here when you played the Wings. Uh, from your perspective, how can you explain like the how they, they matched up, y'all matched up then and then versus, you know, you watching the game and then you're playing in the game. So what, you know, what's the difference between then and now? Uh, obviously the big one is the loss, but what did you see tonight uh, with this Wings team versus uh, how y'all played tonight? I mean, they were also different because they didn't have Natasha Howard and Satu. So the matchups, the movement, their plays, everything is different when you're missing two players like that. Um, and then the rebounding as well. And so that that changes the nature of the game um, when the matchups are a little bit different. Um, and so it came down, I don't know, it was 26 to 40 rebounding and then points in the paint. So um they're a huge part of that rebounding and points in the paint.